Hi, my name is Stephanie and I am the Education Program Coordinator at Providence Children's Museum. In honor of National Dog Day, I will be reading Noodle and the No Bones Day by Jonathan Graziano and illustrated by Dan Tavis. Noodle and the No Bones Day. Noodle is a pug. A silly, stubborn, sweet old pug who lives a very busy life. Some days Noodle likes to go on walks and see the sights. Some days he likes to sit outside and bark at passers-by. And every day he likes to eat snacks. More chicken please! He's a pug who knows what he wants. Jonathan is Noodle's human. He loves taking care of Noodle and joining him in his favorite activities. He loves to take Noodle on walks where they can see the sights together. He loves to sit outside where they can say hello to their neighbors. And he loves to share snacks. Noodle prefers chicken, but will settle for broccoli. Jonathan and Noodle do everything together. One day, Jonathan went to take Noodle on his walk. Noodle lay in his bed with one eye open. He very clearly did not want to go on a walk. Do you want to see the sights or sit outside or have some snacks, Jonathan asked. Noodle did not want to see the sights or sit outside. He did want snacks but still, he stayed in his bed. Concerned, Jonathan tried to sit him up. A noodle in his silly, stubborn, sweet way plopped back down into his bed and went to sleep. Wow, Jonathan said, it's like he doesn't have bones. At that moment, Noodle let out a big sneeze. Achoo! For those who don't speak pug, a sneeze means yes. Huh, thought Jonathan. Noodle's bones had never disappeared before. Was he sick? Jonathan checked his nose, but it was soft and perfect as usual. Maybe Noodle was just sad. Jonathan gave Noodle a bunch of belly rubs to get him revved up. Scratch, scratch, scritch, scratch, pat, scritch, scratch, pat. Noodle lapped up the attention, but he burrowed in deeper. Perhaps Noodle was hungry. He was, as always, but still he stayed in bed. But what about all of our favorite activities, Jonathan asked. Noodle stared at him. Would you rather snuggle instead? This time, Noodle sneezed. Achoo! So that's what Noodle did. He didn't go on a walk. He didn't see the sights. He didn't sit outside. Instead, he snuggled in his bed. He enjoyed lots of belly rubs and he ate many snacks. And he was happy, a happy, silly, stubborn, sweet pug enjoying a relaxing day, a no bones day. Jonathan looked at Noodle enjoying his no bones day. And decided he would have a no bones day too. From then on, some days were bones days great days for walks, seeing the sights, and sitting outside. And other days were no bones days. Great days for staying in bed, snuggling with a blanket, and getting lots of belly rubs. But no matter what kind of day it was, every day was a great day for snacks. Bones or no bones, they are all good days.